Hello everybody, my name is Provis, and welcome back to Dawn of Man in the small settlement of Frost Lake, playing in the Northlands map on hardcore difficulty. Because reasons that have nothing to do with my pride, I'm sure. Okay, so in the last video we were able to progress up into the Mesolithic, yes, Mesolithic era by grabbing the pottery technology, which now means we can dig our own wells and also gather up water and place them in pots, which means people don't need to go to do the water source to get their own water, uh, which slows everybody down quite a bit. Now people can just gather up water, bring it to a good central location, and that should actually improve efficiency just a little bit. Beyond that, I would say that my early priorities are probably to get some upgrades for my tools. I would love to get archery, so we'll be better at hunting. Grain processing and such is certainly quite nice for the domestication of various different cereals and grains. Sledges also would be amazing. Uh, sledges are very good for transporting goods. They can take a much larger capacity, so one person can grab a whole load of materials and bring them back, rather than have to uh, send like three or four people out to gather up the meat from a, uh, let's say, a mammoth. We can have one person do it. So it just is greatly improving our efficiency across the board, and I do want to get some of those. Lots of important stuff to get in this era, basically. And I'm not too sure which ones I'm going to go for first. We're going to play that a little bit by ear. For now, let's just continue to expand as we have been and try to get that population up. Because it's not going to be very easy for me to do pretty much anything if we can't get more workers. Speaking of workers, i got a good feeling about these three people that are walking in, led by this child. He is clearly the leader of the pack. Pretty sure that they are about to join. That'll be three more. Now, of course, getting a new child is not necessarily the best. We prefer to have some healthy adults, but okay, you know, we'll, we'll make do with what we got. That's 14 population. Woohoo! And we've actually already got ourselves up to seven knowledge points. That actually went by pretty quickly, not gonna lie. Um, alright, so let's think. Bone knives and bone sickles. Not bad. The sickles, of course, being primarily useful once we do start getting some cereal domestication. Knives are alright. Don't really have much use for the flint sickle and knife either. So, stone polishing. What would I do with this? Not a lot right now. So I think it comes down to probably the archery or maybe the sledges. I think I'm gonna start with the archery so I can take on larger game and not feel like I'm at as much of a risk. But then after that, I may wanna go for sledges, then possibly some tools and some processing. Let's try this for now and see how it goes. Now, of course, that means I want to go ahead and fabricate myself a few of these bows, which we're gonna go ahead and do right about now. And it may seem kind of counterintuitive to go for the weapons first, especially since I have no problem with meat. But one of the reasons I like the idea is because if we can hunt larger game, that means a lot more potential knowledge points gained. Case in point, we have a whole bunch of Oryx over here, which we should probably go ahead and hunt down. Uh, if we can kill like five of these, that's a load of knowledge points right there. But imagine if I can take on five mammoths, right? That would be pretty good for me. I should also make sure that we are making enough of some of the early game tools, like by faces and wooden spears and stuff, so I can get a little bit more knowledge that way too. It's pretty easy to do, relatively cheap. And also I want to make enough of these that I can trade away the obsolete versions, uh, in order to get some extra resources the next time a trader comes by. Otherwise, uh, these are going to be relatively worthless to make, they won't give me any trade value, and I'll still have to do this to get the knowledge points. So we might as well do this earlier rather than later. Uh, just to get the knowledge points going, get some extra trade value out of it. We're not going to rely on it too heavily, but uh, that's that's a very reliable and easy way of getting some extra points. I knew it was only a matter of time before a bear decided to wander after my peoples. We shall not allow it! Quickly, kill the bear! Thank you, that's two more knowledge for me. And also, really convenient meat, so I mean... That's, that's like getting your food delivered, it's great. Okay, so what do we want next? I think we are going to go for those uh, sledges, probably. Well, wait, do I need that right now? Grain processing and such, bone polishing, stone polishing. It will be very nice eventually to get underground mining so I can have more flint sources because we're actually using up a lot of flints right now and don't have much around. But yeah, I think the sledges are kind of hard to beat. They're just so good to have on hand. Really no good reason not to have tons of these things. Which is exactly what we're going to do, by the way. We're going to go ahead and build ourselves a whole mess of sledges. They do cost some leather. Not regular dry skins, but actual leather. So it's a good thing that I am actually manufacturing a fair bit of that leather. Um, I'm not planning on using leather to make clothing, though, because uh, regular leather clothes are not particularly good in the cold environments, which, you know, obviously in the Northlands, it's pretty much always cold out here. So uh, we're going to be using regular skins outfit far more often than we would leather outfits. So I'm okay with using most of this up just on sledges. Well worth the investment. Whoa, we just got a whole mess of knowledge in one day right there. Jeez, that's awesome. All right, a trader has arrived. You do have technology in the form of spirituality. 
little early for me to get this, um, but I mean, tech is still good. Unfortunately, it's a high commission, so it'll be very, very expensive. We could trade off, let's say, like a load of bones, some of my skins, some extra leather, maybe some of my clothes that I don't need anymore. We could trade off some bows and other tools. Wooden spears I don't need. Buy faces I probably don't need. We can get there. Okay, we're definitely going to be getting the tech then. I think it's well worth it. Let's get ourselves a few of our skins back, just so we have some on hand in case we end up needing them. And then, yeah, let's make sure we buy the tech. I will never apologize for spending a lot of resources getting tech. Research points are a very useful resource. They are hard to get, and the more you can get early on, the more of an advantage we can have, especially when we do eventually have to deal with the raiders. Now, though, I've unlocked the totems and megalithism, which is kind of nice, so if we go to, let's say, our funerary, that did nothing new, but for our spiritual, yes, we do indeed have totems. We can build a couple of these out, I guess. Go ahead and start replacing some of the skull poles. You know, a little bit more sophisticated. And that's another seven knowledge for me already. Okay, so do we now go for the tools or I go for the grains? Ugh, I really think that we probably should start working toward better tools. Though we're progressing through this era a heck of a lot faster than I was expecting. Unlocking new types of tools does also unlock new ways of getting some research points, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but the same thing could be said about the haystacks and the mortars and blah 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 blah. Pulse processing, hmm. Just unlocks that. Until we get serial domestication, how useful is things like the mortar and the haystack? The answer, not very much. I'm gonna go for the tools. I think that tools are just generally a very good thing for me to get. And we're not quite at the point where I need to rely heavily on farming. We're doing pretty well with just hunting at this point. Um, but we are tracking pretty darn quickly to move into the next era already. Ah, oh, crap. Whole load of cave lions apparently came out of nowhere. Killed two of my guys. There's only two cave lions. But they were extremely effective. Oh, gosh dang it. That's the problem with hardcore mode. Um, the animals are more aggressive than normal. Which is ironic, because the hardcore description actually says that there's normal animal aggression. Which I'm like, well, wait a minute, that just seems fine, until I realized, oh, wait, normal mode of the game, standard play mode, has less aggression. What does more aggression look like, exactly? Hunted down some donkeys, got some more knowledge points, and we are ready to go for the stone polishing, which unlocks some other technology I can't use at the moment. Eventually, we'll have access to the underground mining. Most important thing is we will also be able to unlock various different flint tools, since I am surprisingly running low on bones. So again, more things that I can start to produce for knowledge. Trader, what do you got for me? Oh look, grain processing. Ooh, well, so happens I have a lot of tools that I can't use. Let's see if we can make a bargain. Sure enough, we can, though once again, it is going to cost me a whole lot of stuff, but we should have enough clothes uh, and food to get us through most of the winter, at least I hope that we can. So we get some more free technology. Well, again, I keep saying free. Uh, more early technology, sooner than we deserve to get it, let's say that. Well, we should have enough uh, knowledge that I now can move on to the last technology in the Mesolithic era, and that is pulse processing, which doesn't do a whole lot for me right now. But it is going to lead to the cereal domestication, and this is where we will be able to start growing various different grains and so on, so we're almost ready to move into the Neolithic era, which surprises me, because this is actually going pretty fast here. That, that era we just kind of breeze right through. I'm almost wondering if I'm doing something wrong, or maybe this is just one of the fun things about hardcore mode, is the game just progresses a heck of a lot faster. Could very well be. By the way, little Miss Metherium over here, you made a wrong choice coming in my direction. I need more knowledge points, and you seem like the perfect opportunity to get them. Ooh, we reached another milestone. Northern Survival. I don't even know what was involved in this one, but it's a nice little recap of how we've done so far. Good screenshot, I like it. Um, actually though, really, what do we do? I, I really don't know. Uh, we should actually probably be checking some of our other milestones to see what we're supposed to be doing. Northern Survival, survive for five years. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. All right, sure, that's fine. What are we supposed to do now? Neolithic founder crops, sheep, brewing, stone circle, all techs, and 30 roundhouses. Okay. So a lot of this is just going to happen from our normal expansion. The sheep will have to pay attention to, but the rest is not so bad. We do have a blizzard on its way, but fortunately not too many of our people should be far from the base, so I think we'll be able to keep ourselves nice and warm. Eh, a bunch of wolves decided to attack me. We were able to take those out, no problem. Dog died in the process, but we got some knowledge, and some people were impressed, and three more colonists have joined the settlement. All in all, not a bad day. 
Oh, I think maybe taking on three grown mammoths was a bit of a mistake. Might have been? I don't know. We're trying to get there, dang it. Uh, looks like I am gonna lose a couple of humans in that raid. Oh boy. Uh, nope, but by a couple I mean three. Wow, mammoths are dangerous. <laughs> um, to be honest, I thought I was gonna get one as it was crossing the lake and pick him off from the group, but he was just close enough to aggro the rest, so, um, yeah, that, that was a mistake. That hurt. On the plus side, despite losing so many people, that is an absolute ton of meat and skins that I will be able to use, so that should keep me going for a while. If I can finish building up this totem, I think that will get me to the 15 knowledge that I need, yes indeed, to move on to the Neolithic era, with serial domestication. So in the Neolithic era, now we will be able to start growing a whole load of different crops. Now, I'm not sure if we will be able to take as much use out of farming as we would on other maps, because it is going to be so much colder so often, but we can certainly give it a go. Some simple barley, for example, wouldn't be a bad idea. Place down just a small round of crops over here somewhere, for example. It doesn't have to be anything very large and substantial, but that should be pretty helpful for us. Now, a new thing that was added into the game since the last time I played, in the Bronze Era, I think, is the Plow. If we can get all the way up here, this actually speeds up your farming a ton. So you actually can get a much, much larger population than before. But that is a ways down the road. So something to look forward to, but not helpful right now. We are going to need this right away, but we should definitely be building up some haystacks. One thing I learned from my last time playing the game is you definitely need to be able to have a lot of hay storage. Because if you can domesticate a bunch of animals, that can go a long way for your long-term survivability. But they eat a lot during the winter, so having plenty of haystacks to take advantage of all the barley we are growing, and the hay that will result, will be very, very nice. Another trader has arrived, this time around a low commission trader, which is very nice. We can get the uh, weaving technology for much cheaper than I normally would be able to. Um, what am I willing to part with here? Um, I guess some slingshots. I certainly don't need those. Maybe some of our sickles, but not too many. A bit of leather and other stuff. Let's see if we can make this one work as well. Yes, we can, though it's going to cost me a pretty penny, but all right. Well worth it, I think. Weaving technology is unlocked. Not that it's especially useful to me right now. Until we are able to start properly domesticating some sheep, we won't be able to get the wool that we need in order to make much nicer clothing, but uh, still, again, saves me some knowledge points. And this happens to be a very large era that needs a lot of research points to progress, so again, this speeds things up a little bit. Hello! Two more people joined. Excellent. We're slowly making up for my foolish mistakes of attacking the mammoths. Oh gosh, we also already have our first raider attack. Okay, where are they? There they are, three of them so far. Right, well we have sound the alarm. Um, everyone should be getting together, getting ready to go and fight. That is a shocking number of raiders at this stage of the game. Jeez, wait, really though? I don't think that that's appropriate. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go and head on and meet them. Um, because there's not a whole lot that I can do. So let's go fight. This is gonna cost me, unfortunately. Yikes. Okay, but we did manage to kill off some raiders. Wow! I did not think we were going to have to fight them this early on in the game. That actually kind of scares me. On the plus side, it did give me enough knowledge to unlock another technology. We could go for the underground mining. That would get me some flint and copper and other stuff going forward. Could be pretty helpful. Um, thatching for better housing, not bad, but we haven't really got any hay yet, so I don't think we need that. Well digging is okay, but not a big deal. Fortifications... You know, normally I'd say no, but given that we know we can have raiders this early in the game, I don't know, maybe that is a good idea. Flax domestication, that would get me linen so I can make use of weaving. Not a bad idea. Megalithism. I think we're going to go for the underground mining just so I have more consistent uh, resources in terms of flint and other such useful stuff, but uh, yeah. Pretty soon we may want to go for those fortifications just so I don't keep losing my precious colonists, because we are having a hard time keeping above 15. Ah, the first harvest of barley is coming on in. Okay, now we're getting some grain and some straw that I will be able to use. Let's see. Using this extra knowledge, what could I want? Do we want to go for the thatching now that I actually am getting some hay together? This would let me upgrade some of my housing, so we stop having to rely so heavily upon animal skins. At the moment, though, I would say that the animal skins are relatively easy for me to come by, so not a huge deal. I don't know that I necessarily need to go for pulse domestication quite yet. Maybe instead it would make sense to go for the goat domestication? 
Hmm, I don't know. Um, <laughs> bridges I don't need. Megalithism would allow me to keep people's spirits pretty high. But I don't think that's quite the way to go. This does not only let me get uh, huts, but also start upgrading some of my storage. And granaries would allow me to keep my food lasting a bit longer. Some of it has been decaying. So I think thatching might be the way to go. Though I think it's a little bit close. Going for the linens might have made a lot of sense as well. But this should be sort of okay. Oh, I almost forgot. If we are getting thatched uh, buildings like the granary and so on, we need to start gathering some mud. Right, right, right. Let's go ahead and start extracting mud from any of these three zones in the lake. That should be easy enough for me to do. Hey, we were finally able to reach a population of 20. Okay, now I am starting to upgrade some of these tents into proper thatched roof buildings, and we are turning our rye into proper bread as well. So we're starting to properly modernize ourselves a little bit here. Uh, what else we want as far as some technology? Um, we could go for the pulses for the flax. Should I go for the flax first? Oh, I take that back. I'm sorry. I keep getting confused by this, because uh, required four, and then you look at flax domestication and stuff, that's the technology. But I keep looking at that paired up with things like the chickpeas and the lentils and thinking, oh, I'm going to get flax. No, that's still a little ways off still. Um, well, if that's the case, I still don't think I have the manpower or the resources to dedicate to fortifications. I don't think I need a well, at least not yet. Um, especially since it's going to be a while since I have any hydropower. I don't need bridges. Megalithism is good, but not needed right now. So out of the bunch, I think I am going to go for the goat domestication. Which actually we can immediately roll into the sheep domestication. Perfect. Let's do that. And if I can find any sheep, I will happily do so because their wool will create far better clothing than these dry skins can possibly give me. Ugh, of course people have to go and die of old age. How incredibly selfish of you. Don't you know I'm trying to raise up my population numbers? Ah, well, still, we seem to be doing A-OK -okay for ourselves. We've progressed pretty darn nicely, I think, into the Neolithic era. I'm going to have to hunt down a whole load of animals and start domesticating them and making them love me. Of course, what I am most worried about is going to be those raiders. They will be coming every few seasons now, probably. And most likely, they will also be getting stronger with every wave, and that could mean that I am almost guaranteed to lose at least two or three people every season, unless I get myself some fortifications, and we may not have a choice in the matter. We may have to turtle down and try to weather the storm. Otherwise, well, we're toast. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.